Hello, my crafty friends. I'm just doing a really quick little video here because um, yesterday I watched a video by Susan Hiles, and I'll link the video below, where she talks about the fact that she's been learning to watercolor over the last few months. And I've been watching her, and she does some really pretty stuff. But she's been uh, learning about paper and about different kinds of paints and all that kind of stuff, which means she's, even though she's a newbie, she's way ahead of me. <laughs> But I've been wanting to learn more about watercolor and play with it. And so I was watching her video and she was talking about it's worth it to go ahead and buy good paper. And um, she bought a block of paper or a pad of paper that was Arches paper, which is really good paper. And um, she was talking about how she breaks it down. Whoops. She breaks it down into small pieces. So out of a 12 page pack that might cost... Um, 15 or 20, she wasn't sure whether it was like $15 for the pack or if it was $27 for the pack. I can't remember the exact amounts that she was trying to remember. But anyway, that doesn't matter. I know that package of paper is expensive. And they didn't have it at Hobby Lobby when I was there. So I bought one sheet of the Arches paper. The um, I didn't buy the three. I bought 140 pounds. They do have 300 pound paper as well, but that was really stiff and I decided that was, uh, it cost about twice as much as this one did. So I thought this is good enough for me. Um, it's not the cheap stuff, but it's cheap enough. If I use my 40% off coupon, I, I don't feel like I've wasted anything if it doesn't turn out great. This piece of paper cost $8 and then I had a 40% off coupon. So it ended up costing me about $5. And um, I've already cut it in half because it was too big to show you um, full size. But this is half of it. Okay. And then this is half of that. And 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 these are half of that. So I've cut my one sheet of paper my five dollars worth of paper already into a bunch of pieces now i already know i can tell you right now i am not going to be doing anything this big i'm not going to be doing anything this big and i'm not going to be doing anything this big so i know those are going to be cut down some more i might do something that big so i'm gonna um leave that one for now but i'm more likely going to work on something about this size now these are a little bit bigger than atcs these are about um well, let me measure it. I was thinking, yeah, these are almost three inches by almost four inches. So they're a little bigger than ATC size, but they're a nice little size to just play around on. I've also been watching CC do, um, you know, watercolor and doodling kind of stuff for a long time, and I really enjoy that. So I decided I'm going to try um, playing with some of this. Yeah, I think I'm going to go ahead and take this one. I just want to show you how easy this is to do. You buy the um, the one sheet, you fold it in half, and it already starts ripping there. I don't know if you can see that. So that helps it have that deckled edge. And then you tear it just slightly there, and then you can tear it. Um... Now there, um, I have heard there is a right side and a wrong side, and I'm trying to see um, the right side, if I use the arches watermark, and I don't know if you can see that, if I use the arches watermark as the right side, then the right side is the side that's a little bit smoother. The other side is rougher. So that's what I'm going to try to remember, that the right side is smoother, and I may keep this um, piece right here as my example of that. So let's just fold it in half so I can keep the watermark piece to remind me that it's the smooth side that I want to work on. When she was talking about wishing, Susan, when Susan was talking about wishing that she had a, a, a torn edge all the way around it, it reminded me of these big sheets because they have a really nice deckled edge on the outside. And now the way I'm tearing it, it's, you know, it's not as pretty as the deckled edge. 
but um, it's still better than a, a straight cut edge. And so um, I'm going to link Susan's channel, um, well, the video where she talks about this below, because I think um, it inspired me to go ahead and spend a little bit of money on some good watercolor paper. But I wanted to also show you that you don't have to spend as much as it would take to buy that pad of Arches paper. At Hobby Lobby, this one, like I said, was $8. And then... Um, and then I ended up getting I think I'm gonna I'm gonna do this. I'm trying to get some different shapes, not get all of them exactly the same. Um she was showing all the different how that she used that one pad of 12 pages and she got she was getting like 50 or 60 pieces out of it and of course my thought was like hmm I wonder how many pieces I can get out of um out of one sheet so we're going to find out how many pieces of sizes that I think I'll actually use are we going to get out of one sheet of this arches watercolor paper and I'm just stacking them over here in the different sizes. And I'm going to go ahead and um, one thing I had thought I was going to do, um, Cece had done a um, an Advent book where she tore some papers down. And she made um, a little book that she watercolored just some basic shapes. And then she doodled um, with watercolors and pens each day on those. And I had thought when I was watching her do that, um, I had thought I would you get one of these and make, make a... Um, make a... A book like that but now I'm thinking how much easier it would be to work on individual pages and um, I think that this is sturdy enough now the 300 pound absolutely would be but I think this is sturdy enough at the 140 pound to go ahead and do the um, maybe do that slip knot binding that um, that Tanya and I have done on a couple of books to put these pages together. Okay, so here is one half, and I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen pieces. Fourteen, if you count this one that I'm going to keep as my example. So, fourteen pieces. Um, for 250 so that's 14 little watercolors I can do for two dollars and fifty cents that's pretty good <coughs> okay now just for kicks I'm gonna um, fold this one now well, oh the got the watercolor the watermark on um the other end too one minute sorry um i think i'm gonna <laughs> it's hard to decide i'm just gonna go ahead and cut this in half what to do with my long folder I was going to try to do something, you know, a little bit different, but I have I like the sizes I've already got, so no reason to fret over it, trying to do something different when the, this works. <laughs> 
Okay, let's, I do want to make some that are, I think these are kind of square, but I'm not sure how square they are. So let's, let's just see how square are they. Okay, this one's five and a half by five. Wow, that is pretty square. Okay, that's cool. I like the idea of some square ones, so I'm glad to know that somehow I managed to get square ones. <laughs> okay, let's go ahead. Um... Now, if I was trying to make pages out of this, I probably wouldn't be happy with that. But since I'm trying to make, um, since I'm just making pieces of watercolor to paint on, I like it. Okay, this one's maybe not quite as square. I'm not sure what I did different last time, but it's all right. We got 14 out of the first half. I don't know how many we're going to get out of this half. Um, I think I do want some more that are kind of that really small size. So I'm going to fold this here. And it tears pretty easily. And then I'm going to just do this one kind of in thirds. So these will be a little bit bigger than those um, other ones, but they're still. Come on. But they're still going to be relatively small, and I like that. I don't want to. <laughs> commit to big pieces of paper because I'm still trying to figure out how to watercolor at all. Okay. I'm going to do, go ahead and fold this one in half. Maybe it will be similar to that one. Not like measuring it and trying to make them all perfectly even. Because they're all going to be individual little projects, so it doesn't matter. Yeah, those are pretty good. Okay, and um, I'm going to go ahead and do There's the other one with the watermark. I'm going to go ahead and leave these this size. Um, okay, we got another half to do here. And... I've already kind of creased it there and I don't want to um, I don't want to mess it up before I even get to paint on it <laughs> now these sides where the um, where it tears, if you use your bone folder, you can smooth those back out and you'll still have the, the deckled look, but it won't be standing up. Okay, let's do... three like this, which is a different size. <laughs> That's one fun thing about it. You can just make them as many different sizes as you want. See?
Okay. Let's see. All right. I think I'm going to fold this in half and then in half. And I'm going to get four of whatever that size is. Oops. Okay, let's fold this in half. Oh, that may be more of the square ones. Nope, not exactly. Okay. Okay. So now we've got four like that. Let's see if those are the same. Yeah, they are pretty much the same. Well, not exactly. So we've got six, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. <laughs> so we got fourteen out of each side. Um, even though they're all a little bit different. I guess I could turn these like that. It doesn't matter. They're all still a little bit different so I got 28 pieces of watercolor nice watercolor paper to play on for five dollars I think I did pretty good um, and that way even though I don't have as many pages as Susan got out of her pad I didn't spend as much to begin with and I can um, feel safe and just playing on these papers and that was her one of the reasons she was talking about that she does it that way is because when you pick up this if you mess it up you've just messed up this if you decide you're going to make some big amazing watercolor and you mess it up you know then then you've messed it up <laughs> so uh thank you susan for the inspiration and i hope that y'all will go and watch her video too because you might want to buy the pad and do it the way she did it but um this was a way for me to get a bunch of little pieces of watercolor paper and spend even less money and still get a good brand. So I was very excited when I watched what she was doing. God bless you, Susan. God bless all of you. Bye-bye.